My wife Sheila suffered a fall about a year and a half ago, a bad fall, and it precipitated a, a, an ongoing uh, Parkinsonian symptom as well as dementia. We, uh, we had hoped all along that she would be getting better, and she did at, at the start. She learned to walk with a walker, and, but then she had another fall, and we lived in a big old 12-room house on the North Shore, and uh, it was just impossible eventually to get her up and down stairs at night. So uh, we had to uh, find a single floor abode somewhere, and we, uh, we looked at uh, apartments and condos, and my real estate agent had heard of the Mather in Evansville, and we went to look, and I realized that this was the answer to our prayers because not only did they have an apartment, but they have a second floor life care center. And when somebody needs continual help, they can stay there. So uh, we entered the Mather, and uh, I uh, stayed generally in our seventh floor apartment. But Sheila was on the second floor uh, in the life care center and was coming along fairly well. But then uh, our doctor, Dr. Vicki Braun, uh, who I guess everybody knows, Dr. Vicki, and the Life Care Center director came to me one day and said, Roy, we'd like you to think about hospice care. We're blessed with six sons and we had a family gathering. We talked the whole thing over. And to me, it was the best thing at the time to do. Now, of course, I'm so glad I did it. Uh, so we, we entered hospice care. Uh, with you folks, as a matter of fact, and you were the one that was so highly recommended by everybody. I did ask around, and uh, every time I mentioned uh, Midwest, they, uh, their eyes sort of lit up and they said, that's the one to use. At the start, I had a long discussion with them, and I said, I want you to know where I stand on this. And I said, I would like Sheila to be as comfortable as possible, but I definitely don't want to prolong her life beyond what God intended her to have. And, that's, and they said, well, that's what hospice care is. We, we like to make the patient comfortable. We like to do extra little things, but we're not going to prolong anything beyond what is meant to be. And that pleased me especially. So uh, the thing I like most is the hospice care nurse and or doctor would come to see her almost every day if not every other day. And if there was a little flare up, if there was a little something that didn't seem to be going well, they were there like that. Uh, I had the emergency number to call. If I didn't understand anything, they welcomed my phone calls. Uh, they did all the things that you would hope somebody would do, especially if you don't know the circumstances. And this was the first time that my family had ever been through this. Over the uh, last weeks of my wife's illness, she began to sleep more and more. Uh, she ate less and less. And I was really concerned. I said, well, aren't we going to be able to do something? And the hospice folks came and we had a long talk and they said, no, you asked us uh, what the end result would be and to let nature take its course. And that's exactly what nature is doing. You don't have to worry about a thing. She's in no pain. Now, sometimes I think she knew that I was in the room, but I wasn't always sure. Uh, however, the day that uh, I got a call from the folks who run the Life Care Center, and they asked me if I would ought to, ought to come downstairs. And uh, I was a little surprised because I had been with her the night before. She seemed all right. And when I got there in the room, it was around 8.30 in the morning, and they said, maybe you ought to call the boys, as have them come over as well. And what impressed me most was that the hospice people knew what was happening. And uh, we all gathered around Sheila's bed, and I sat right beside her, and I held her hand. And uh, I, to this day, don't know whether she, she really knew I was there or not. And I don't know what prompted me to do this. Maybe it was something we had talked about with you at Midwest before, I leaned over and I said to her, Sheila, uh, this is Roy, the whole family's here, you can let go. And uh, about a minute later, she took a big deep breath 
And that was it.